Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are here with more Dalmatia, the Croatian regime. So yeah, we're still playing a really nice passive game here. And uh, I uh, I feel like, oh, a gift from Venice of 50 ducats. That's actually the most I've seen them give me in a while. Uh, opinion of Venice is up 20% for some reason. Yeah, because they sent me a bunch of money. And I would love to send an insult. Send the insult. Cool. Maybe the opinion will just kind of slowly go down. So we got money now, right? So what we can do with that money is continue to expand our um, navy. So what I just did was I went to the technology tab and I upgraded my military technology to level 4. Pike Square. You spend uh, political capital to upgrade technology. Really simple. Our next tech should be administrative technology. You get temples. And it should be on July 1456. So in two years, we'll have that. Let's go ahead and get. Alright. One, two, three. I guess three more. Just have these things cranking out, like one after another. Spend all the money that Venice just gave us on new boats, new trade ships. And yeah, those should be those should be pretty good for now. We're back up to 50, good. Opinion of Venice is going down because we sent that uh, insult. Uh, alliance from Crete. Crete would also like to be my ally. I guess because we're all Venetian vassals, I guess we can all be buddy buddies. I don't see why not. We're making 0.94 ducats every turn, so as soon as we get a, another trade ship on here, I do believe we're going to be over one ducat every single month. Uh, Royal Marriage from Crete, of course. Why not? Right, our administrative tech is pretty high right now. We're, we're not really Russian churches right now. Administrative tech right now just unlocks buildings for us, and buildings are like 100 ducats each. So, uh, I'll just take you to the building screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Just slow the game down to like speed 2 or something. So this is the building screen. You have trade, navy, army, defense, manufacturing, taxation, production, and government. These are all the buildings. Start at level 1, marketplace, trade depot, stock exchange, and then just go all the way up. Uh, you can get a fortress, which gives you a level 8 fort, which is insane. For 800 ducats, like you would put that like... A level 8 fort, I think, is like Constantinople or something. Or like, you know, one of these guys somewhere in here might have a level 8 fort. Eventually. It's like 800 ducats is a lot of money. Like, you see me over here trying to scrounge up 20 together so I can build a ship. Talk about 800. Like, you fucking crazy? You fucking crazy, man? Alright, well, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and go back to speed 4. We're at uh, absolutely zero. Uh, prestige and we are about to dip back down into the negative and our, uh, our liberty desire is uh, pretty good going up going up slowly we just kind of wait and pray so this is the Holy Roman Empire screen currently our Frederick the third of von Hausberg is the Emperor currently he's an Austrian Emperor and these are the electorates currently. We have Bohemia, Brandenburg, Cologne, Minas, the Palatine, uh, Saxony, and Tyre. And these are all the, you know, currently involved people, princes of the whole Roman Empire. I'm sure that'll dissolve one day. And yeah, we got 26 days, 20 days. Let's go ahead and send our fleet back. Send them ready for pickup. Four, three, two, one. Got the boat go in here and yeah I'm sure I'm guessing well yeah so we made it so we're two days before the month is over and it recalculates everything but we're able to get our ship into the main fleet told them to go back to the mission trade mission so let's see it shouldn't drop down yep 1.05 baby finally making a full ducat every single month that's real nice we'll just kind of keep going along that path for a little little while longer and uh, trade expansion our policy of free trade is allowing our merchants to expand our trade we get to plus 10 percent trade efficiency and we get four inspired detection minus 10 percent so we get 1.05 right now collection 
and after this 1.14 it's a 0.9 percent increase that's basically a whole boat for free and it's just an efficiency so uh it does stack we add another boat it still gives me 10 percent until whatever year i guess we can go over here or we can go to the trade and you know mercantilism global trade power trade steering is good trade range is 200 units like the furthest we can go is like kiev is just out of range kiev is up here somewhere in the trade note but yeah i mean it's, it's fine we're doing we're still doing really good all right we should be f getting close to um finishing up our quest yeah so it, what is it like have a 75% force limit, okay, so I think that's six or seven boats, I forget. What's 75% of eight? 75% of 175%, so if you go down by two, it would be 60. Six boats, maybe? I'll just make seven in case. We'll see after this uh, last two finish. After we have six boats, we'll see where we stand. Our uh, liberty desire is kind of going back down, but it's, you know, hovering just above. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and get the temples now. Uh, I'll hold off. I'll hold off a little bit. You can go over here and you can see this little clock right here. This gives me a neighbor bonus. That means people around me have these skills already. So I just naturally pay less of my power to just implement it. But we can hold off on getting technology for now. We can, you know quick spend some uh, administrative points to raise our stabilities in case, I don't know, some crazy fucking comic comes up again or something. You know, something dumb. And yeah, so we're just gonna wait until this says 15, 15 days now, 16 is fine. Go ahead and tell you guys to dock. Enjoy, you know, two weeks of being at home with your family. And let's get you guys back out there. Alright, so we had like 1.1 1 .1 something. 1.27 now. Nice. Not too bad. Bought another uh, 0 0.11 jump. It's not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead, just for the sake of sakes. I'm going to go drop two galleys so we can max out our. Um, which one calls it? Neo Force Limit. After our neighbor force limit is completed, we should be uh, finished with that quest. Hopefully, we get another two new ones. Because if it's just a prestige quest, we're gonna be pretty fucked. So there's nothing you can really do right now for prestige. I got. I go ahead. And, I went ahead and bought two galleys um, instead of Baruchs because first of all, they're ten gold each. They use a hundred sailors. Got more guns. Uh, I guess less hull size. Well, the same hull size. And the speed's a little less, but that's fine. Basically, inland right here is where you want these galleys to be because if you have inland galleys, they get a 100% combat bonus against basically anything, any boats, and that's really, really good. Inland sea combat is where galleys are exceptionally proficient. I guess we can go over here and, I don't know, improve some relationship with Hungary. Uh, so they still have Confu over here. They don't want an alliance. Loyal, loyal attitude towards Venice. Go ahead and like, you know, puppy them up so maybe when we declare war they won't try to join. We'll see how things go. <laughs> we'll see how things go. Alright, slowly, I mean, definitely, we're definitely making money now. Every single month we have another ducat that comes in. We don't have to wait like two, three months for a ducat. For a single fucking ducat. Alright, so now we're, you know, if you look at it this way, point one point two two. Let's go ahead and run that to one. Twelve months out of year, get twelve ducats a year. Um, so in the next three years we should have 36 ducats. So in the next three years we have a potential of, oh nice, we got that. Let's go ahead and check out our new thing. Uh, palcate the Papal State. The Papal State is a threat to our nation, Mr. Privileges. 
Uh, don't we already have? Five prestige dipple power. Okay, that's interesting. Accumulate money. How much do they want me to have? 29.3. Gain 10 prestige. This is improve prestige. Five prestige, 10 prestige. I think we can go for improve the papal states. The papals. We're getting tall hungry to fuck off. Go ahead and improve the relation with papal states. Shouldn't be that hard. Go ahead and move our boats back. Go here. And now we're at a war. Uh, okay. Yeah, go protect the Venetian stuffs. Go over here. And yeah, and once we go to war, our uh, maintenance automatically gets turned all the way up. So we... Okay, so Genoa's Conquest of Narova. I think that's like... Milan. Yeah. So Genoa is attacking Milan. Let's see, where's Milan? This is Milan. <laughs> this is Milan, okay. And the other guys are... Mantura, which is oh, so this is Milan and Mantura right there, or like right there, right there. Okay, so I guess we can kind of go back down to speed three, just kind of slowly, kind of pinch some stuff together. Okay, good. I got some troops. We don't really have to worry about any of them. They are landlocked. We can move over here at least to Venetian territory, help out. I'll just say that friendlies can attach. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Go ahead and say friendlies can attach. So this is the first how war works basically. So what we can do is like you can right click to sue for peace, but since we're a vassal, we can't sue for any type of peace because we're like not even a co belligerent in this thing. So basically, we're called in because uh, Venice got called in, and then Venice called in all of its fucking people. So yeah, there's like 70,000 infantry, 15,000 cavalry versus like 10,000 men. <coughs> so, should be a pretty quick mop up. You just go over here and squash these last couple of troops. Hopefully we're getting on all this battle. Ah, uh, it's an omen. Of course it is. I wish we lived in more enlightened times. Yeah, just kind of keep moving in. Okay, good, good, great. Alright, I'll just go ahead and execute the rest of this army. Nice, got a little bit of war score. Now let's go ahead and, I don't know, take, take this little castle. Should be a still potential for people to spawn up here, but I guess whatever. Alright, we took that province. Go ahead and take this one. And let's go ahead and siege her up. Siege her up. As soon as uh, these last couple of provinces fall, the war should be over. I think this one is the main one that France wants for some reason. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll flatter them for now. Okay. I think we can wait like one more year for picking up this. It's not even going to be that, you know interesting and 15% at the start of next year is going to be what we want to spend. I've got a lot of folks here. Got no leader, <laughs> no leader in my army or nothing. And the war is over. This is now Switzerland, this little bit. And that's it. That's all that happened. Switzerland gets a little bit of land and all, all is done. Alright, sure. Let's go over here my ships to go back home and we're gonna tell you guys to continue protecting trade you guys are walking back home you don't even need the army maintenance anymore to walk back home all right it's looking good we've got 61 liberty desire looking looking saucy let's uh, go over here real quick got some truces got it the only alliance they have right now is with Genoa. And Genoa is these guys. I can kind of like 
go over here and like, I don't know, drew these guys a little bit. And then that still wouldn't like, that wouldn't be a independence. I guess we can embrace this. Ah oh, well, we don't have enough. That's fine, we'll take that now. That's fine, I guess we're like one month early. Let me see if that made a difference. Yeah, we, I mean, that's fine. We weren't gonna get any more. We got some more. Prestige. Ah, we lost, lost the money one, fuck. So we'll just kinda leave the screen up. I think it's like every couple of months, I believe they reset. I don't wanna take this one because it's like absolutely insane and impossible for me to get, you know, 50 fucking prestige. <clears throat> It's not like you can just buy prestige, you have to do prestigious things. Like conquer or do some other crazy shit. Oh, so this is like really nice. That would have been nice to like declare war right now when they had like 20,000 men with zero maintenance. 4,000 people could have gone in there and cleaned up real easy. But missed opportunity, what are you gonna do? So if I think went ahead and like declared war right now. Uh, we'll get this one more tick. Good. Send you back home. Defend capital. My uh, my four allies will be called in. We'll get you home. Let's group you up. There you go. Protect some more trade in Venice. Yes. That'd be real nice. All right. So we got twenty thousand men here. We got like 24 boats. What are we looking at here? It's basically, light ships, cogs, light ships, three galleys, four galleys. Hmm. Fleet battles might be a little, little tricksy. Ah, uh, yeah, still doesn't want to. Yeah, okay, so now we can embrace this the Renaissance. We've embraced the renaissance. Now if we've got technology, we'll learn it a little bit faster. Because of our um, stuff. Because of reasons. And this is still not doing anything. I mean, I don't want to take this mission because if I take it and I don't complete it, it'll give me a penalty. So I just, I know I can't get 50 fucking prestige anytime soon. So I ain't even gonna try. Alright, so that's basically it. Can't do anything with autonomy. We can build a f castle. Can also build a church for 95, 95 ducats. There is a um, pretty awesome scenario that can happen an event that will trigger, and like your son will die, and you'll hold a. It'll give you two choices: to take a bunch of money, or you can like. Justify with religion. If you justify religion, it'll just give you a free church. The other one gives you, like, I don't know, equivalent, I think, like 10 less ducats. But then you can spend the ducats on whatever you want. So I guess, you know, a couple of different ways. A gift. Another generous, generous gift. Wow. You guys really want me to, like, overthrow you guys? So it's 20. And this is just. This is just complete speculation. So let's see. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 15,000 men. Let's say if we all form together somehow. That's really it. Like, there's nothing really else going on right now. And that's like pretty, pretty big, you know, leap of faith to think that these guys will be here. Whatever, we'll just take this, cancel the mission. Wait an entire year until we can take another one. What are you? What are you gonna do? Whatever. Alright, we're looking we're looking pretty good though. We're just kind of slowly going towards wanting to get um, admin so we can get our first idea. We want to get national idea five. Uh, I think admin. Yeah, the admin five. So you get your first idea group. Once we go into our ideas, we get to pick from a list of all these fancy pants ideas. So what are we gonna go with? Like defensive ideas, offensive ideas, 
If you want to go diplomatic ideas, administrative ideas, it's all it's all up in the air right now. All right, it looks like you guys are. Hmm. They do have this one province to go through first. But I think what I'm going to do is kind of drop like. Horse. Hmm. A couple of horses. Because yeah, they're moving away somewhere else right now. So I move a horse. Something like that. Let's go ahead and raise this. Get our recruits in. Yeah, recruit one more. Go ahead and get our navy to come back home. Good. We'll give you a general. Uh, hmm. Even worse. Well, at least you got siege pips. So we can we can do something with that. All right. So we got my boats are back home now. Docked. Good. I guess we can go home at word or work, but our friendly foreign mission will resume when the war ends. Good. Let's go ahead and keep that checked. We got Goislav the second, Jalcic. My good friend. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and you know. Is it too early? Declare independence. We got fifty seven liberty this night. We got three allies. The enemy allied you know, will not be considered a co belligerent sword. They will not be able to call their own allies. Blah blah blah. Kun Rufu will definitely join. I don't think that fucking matters. So let's go here and just make sure we have this shit. Oh. Rivalry towards Venice. Well, I'm about to declare from them. Right. Now, nah. there goes my stability. Disputed succession. A lot of people don't have lax heirs. Personal union under another country, which they have a royal marriage with their rural died. Also have thrones claimed. Bunch of people. Let's go ahead and boost that up to plus one. Move you guys out this way. So we got five. I'm gonna go over here and help. We might actually win this. Oh, nope. We are gonna lose basically everything. <sighs> the armies weren't fucking far enough away. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Four six zero. Wow. Well, we lost a lot of uh, lost a lot of war score here. We just like send demands, <laughs> send demands. Hmm. We do have allies, I guess, right? We technically do. Croatia, yeah. So we have four allies. Knox is one hundred percent blockaded. Venice is like nine percent blockaded. Go over here and take out this last boat. Okay, good. So we're blockading Venice. Sounds like a great idea. So he's just attacking me with some fucking cogs right now. Uh, the money's not gonna really matter right now. And there goes the rest of our boats. Gone. Gone like the fucking wind. Force peace from Austria. Alright. We'll main subjects of Venice. Hmm. Well, I guess thanks to Austria. <laughs> you know, something allowed me to live. 
and I don't know if I should be happy or uh, not. I guess I can just, you know, prove some relations to with Austria, I guess. And I can. I don't even know what to fucking do anymore. I guess slowly just start to rebuild my army, right? So we get army force limit of 7 now. For some reason. We get a naval force limit of 15. For some reason now. I guess we kind of. 1, 2, 3. Alright, yeah, I mean. I guess that's that. Let's see. Accumulate money. 25.2 gain 10 prestige. Good, we can do that. No problem. We just spent all that money. <laughs> Sounds like pretty easy. Yeah, I mean, it's really easy to make money when you have, like, you know, no problems making money. Yeah, so let's go over here and just drop our army, fleet maintenance, even though we don't have a fleet right now. <laughs> we don't have a fleet! Where did our fleet go? A good thing I didn't send in my fucking king, right? My uh, court should be fine. Yeah, so I have my 202, 36 year old, and I have a 460 with a strong claim to the air. To the throne. That's good. Basically, just kind of, I don't know, slowly wait. My liberty desire is like pathetic. Pathetic. Events, province defections, and provinces developed by Overlord. It probably means you tried to break free and they stopped you. Yeah, well, make this general. The dude. And I guess, yeah, we just kind of, I don't know, make some money. We'll just go speed 5, let the game kind of run itself for a little bit. And we just wait until we have, like, 26. Okay, 10 prestige. And, yeah. See, I was getting greedy. So that's, that's what happened. I should have waited even longer. Like, I should have waited until, like, Venice lost, like, everything, basically. I wanted to see Brescia, Aurora, and Tusio gone and then just left with Easter and Venetia and then I take Easter. That's what should have fucking happened, but no. My fleet got immediately blown up and and yeah. If you think Austria is like, hey, you guys listen to the HRE? The HRE says you gotta cut that shit out. You gotta cut that shit out right now, man, like cut it out like it's fire. Just stop it. Just don't even don't even think about it, you know what I mean? Just let it go, come back at a later time or day. Uh, lose manpower or lose five ducats. We'll lose some people, whatever. Use military as workforce, improve the capital, good. We get a base tax in Dalmatia, give us a little bit more money, that's pretty good. Uh, I think we're getting a ducat a turn now. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, 0 0.36. <laughs> 0 0.36 ducats a turn. Yeah, not really too much going on here. Uh, you're getting attacked by Bohemia, which is up here. Still improving things there. Switzerland, my good friends. Hello. Let's go ahead and, I don't know, buddy up these guys a little bit. What is this? Two Missouri merchants available, one missionary available, but I don't have any promises that aren't my religion, so that ain't no problem. Liberty desire is going up. Go ahead and send another insult as soon as we have another diplomat. This should be done soon. Twenty, uh, ten more ticks, ten more months. Improving relationship with Austria should be just finishing up. Got 12 ducats in the bank. We got no fucking fleet to protect trade. We uh, we might have fucked ourselves here, ladies and gentlemen. We might have fucked ourselves re real good. We fucked ourselves real, real good. At least we got Eastern Militia now, all right. That's probably what I should have fucking waited for. Eastern Militia, because I know I'm sure these guys have higher tech than me. Yeah, they're on five, and I attacked them with four. So they obliterated me like there was nothing. That's basically how it works here, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta, gotta stay on top of the tech. You gotta be even more advanced than what you think is the most advanced right now. Ugh. I really hope, uh, 
really hope things go so well. I'm surprised Ragusa is still alive. Bosnia usually or Serbia comes in and scoops it up. But uh, yeah, it's uh, not looking so hot for us, ladies and gents. Go ahead and pick up a uh, level four marketplace, trade range, all that good stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna go ahead and call this another episode. Thanks again for joining me, and hopefully the next one will be even better. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.